So this afternoon, a friend and former housemate asked me something in Facebook and, you know, he also asked me how things were at the house he used to live in, which is the one I live in now. And I, I think it's about a good time to tell you what has happened. So, first thing first, after arranging everything with the agency on a really lousy contract and a proof of address that I demanded them, which in turn I never found useful because every time I showed it they declined it, both for the insurance number and the bank account. I arrived there, my first ever house in London, and there's this guy, two meters wide, two meters high, bodybuilder, dunked on steroids. We start chatting about our jobs and stuff. I tell him I will probably find a job in Soho because that's where mostly every VFX house is. And he's like, don't go there or else you will get infected by those faggots and lesbians. And I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, later I discovered he was a professional bully and a sexist as well. My floor mates are those kind of people that uh, think they are the most perfect beings in the universe. And as of the agency, if I can call it so, because I'm pretty sure that's illegal, it's a piece of shit. So problems that we've had in the house, apart from fights, not with me, between them, many fights, and a rat in the kitchen as well, a huge ass rat that the agent was, oh, are you not sure the tail you've just seen isn't a really big mouse, you know, because that would be less inconvenient. We also had a plague of flesh flies first because there was a dead animal in the ventilation of our bathroom. The agent that time responded with, oh, I know the perfect solution to get rid of those flies. Just go to the supermarket and buy a can of spray. As if that were the source of the problem, you know. And then green bottle flies. Pretty recently, right before Christmas, the agent's response was, I would thank you so much if you wouldn't bother me with those kinds of things on the weekends because you know that's the only time I get to have a break. To which I responded to her, okay, next time the flies appear, I will tell them not to bother us during the weekend. The agency finally decided it was about time to do something around two weeks after, um, at which point we were killing 30-ish flies every day and sending them loads and loads of pictures. The reason why those flies were there, even though the agent was really keen on blaming us, the real reason is because there was a dead mouse in the kitchen as well. The other day, some council uh, people came into the house while I was late for work, accompanied by three or four policemen and started asking me all kinds of questions about the house to which I of course didn't lie. Meanwhile I was texting the agency, apparently they had arranged a meeting a couple of hours later, so what they answered me with was, you did such a bad job, that's so irresponsible, you shouldn't have let them in. Like, so okay, now I have the blame, all right. And by the way, the council people ended up leaving before I could show them anything else because I was insistent in how problematic their visit was, thanks to the agency telling me to tell them that. They went again a couple of hours after. Somebody from the agency was there to receive them. In my floor mate's words, the agency guy told her to tell the council people a lie, to tell them that she was living there alone because her boyfriend wasn't there. Oh, did I mention the agency showed me that house as a seven-person house and we are 12 currently there and that the house hasn't had either fire extinguishers or fire blankets until three days ago. Last week, we all got a text from the agency at 11 in the night telling us the next day they were going to replace the doors from nine to five and we would find all our rooms unlocked and with the new keys inside. My floor mate just knocked him on my door and started yelling at me just to let everything out, you know, to pay it with someone. Really nice experience. So they replaced the door handles 
and they put stripes on the edges of the doors so as to theoretically not uh, close with a bank but now they, the doors close so tight that, that if you want them closed it's more likely that you're gonna make a loud noise either way they've also put like this kind of springy thing that closes them loudly essentially I was inside the bathroom once trying to unlock myself I ended up dismantling the lock system because it was poorly tightened and the lock system fell into the outside. Luckily, they store screwdrivers in the bathroom, so I had to dismantle the whole, the whole door handle. That door hasn't been replaced. Of course, eight months from now or something, the washing machine stopped working and we had to wait like two weeks for it to get replaced. Three days ago, it stopped working as well. So instead of replacing it with another one or even bothering looking at what the problem was because I'm pretty sure it didn't need a complete re replacement they put our old washing machine back there there's also people that unplug the fridge or I and other housemates store our food in and don't plug it back just because that socket is the nearest thing they found to plug a toaster in and because of so much plugging and unplugging it has worn out and now the slightest movement that you make to the cable makes the power in the fridge to go off. Which is fun because later someone who also uses that fridge turns it up all the way because they think the fridge doesn't have enough power or something and it starts freezing the food. They actually came to check all the plugs and they checked them and that's it. Yet another story from not long ago either. They decided to override the boiler controls and thermostat with something that I've been told is a remote control from the agency. And they don't follow any proper pattern. Like some nights I've been so hot and other nights it's been so freezing. I also know there's people using constantly my stuff and using my mug and not washing it up. And all in all, it's a house built upon fixes and fixes that don't last very long. For example, there was a humidity problem leaking from the shower that I use at the topmost floor to the middle floor. And they would put strings and strings of silicone on the borders of the tiles <laughs> and they painted over the affected rooms as if just painting over it would solve the problem. Oh, and here's another fun story. How could I forget that? After Christmas, I came back to my floor mate with her arm bandaged and part of his leg as well. And our shower door shattered into a million pieces because it's made of glass. It shattered on her while she was having a shower. How terrifying is that? And all the metal bits of that shower door were so rusty. What they've done is replace those shower doors with another set of glass shower doors. Well, those are the, a couple of <laughs> reasons why I want to go out of the house. Today I've been doing a viewing. I'm going back home. I'm pretty confident I'm not gonna be in that house and I'm pretty upset about it because it's like I'm not... Uh, it's a decent flat but both me and my parents think that I could find somewhere better but I don't really know if I can because I've never been into this price range before so it's pretty stressful I guess yeah it's pretty stressful to be on the market for a flat chair but at the same time it feels like I'm moving on finally and here goes my premonition sorry for the long video of the 10th of February 2016 I hope that by March I'm gonna be in a much better place and much deserved place okay let's see